Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 22 to the 23. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, let me see here. Now, Leos, there's going to be something right here. So follow that, okay? Meaning that's the astrology transit. Remember, when you're doing your prediction and you're trying to get the best of, uh, you know, of making a good choice and, you know, judgment and, you know, getting the gist of a reading, it's very helpful um, to to do different different kinds of divination process and one is to follow um astrology one tarot you get astrology the only thing um the third one can be your intuition so that solves the problem for you um there was also a will of fortune and the fourth ones in your pre-shuffle so either you're just gonna be happy you're feeling secure um or that's a person mm -hmm, or you guys are gonna be in a relationship with someone is jupiter ruled okay they're also saying here now that the planet that we see can be the the highest degree. Okay, meaning that's their soul planet. Okay, that's their Atma Karka. Atma highest. Okay. Um, or maybe if you're looking for a husband, that's their Dar Karka. That's the lowest degree. Okay, so it can be at lowest degree Jupiter or highest degree because that's their soul planet. Okie dokie, that's a lot of information. Let's begin. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 22, 2 to 23. Here we go. Leos. Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Hermit card. Looking for the one. The hermit doesn't waste their time because they've been wasted by time. <laughs> Look at that one. The person is already <laughs> like, I don't know anymore. Where am I going in my life? Okay. The time all my friends has been in a relationship, married, committed. They've been reborn. They've met a new soulmate three times, four times already. Okay. And I'm still here waiting. Okay. The wait is over. Remember with the hermit card. Because they're fine. Their star, their wish, it's, it's just in their hands right now over here. It is a Virgo energy, so this is your second house. Nothing always going on is in Virgo. Nothing's going on right now in Virgo. Okay. I mean, planetary-wise. Okay. You have here the Two of Swords. So this energy is about someone is making a decision to see you. Okay. Um, they also don't want to be emotional about it. They're trying to contain their feelings. That's a Two of Swords. Non-expressive, but very much emotional. Okay. Remember, the river at the back. Okay. That's not baby at baby get back. Okay, the river at the back is their emotion. So someone is refusing to see through their emotion, and they want to make a better, um, you know, logical choice and decision. Next to the hermit, ace of swords. So you might call this person out, like, listen, you need to make a decision. Listen, you know, this is the talk card. Okay, the two of swords is an energy where I feel like it's a it's an intuitive, um, intuitive conversation because there is the moon energy over here. Um, I feel like it's enlightening also. You're going to tell this person or they're going to tell you. It's like, listen, I have this feeling towards you. Okay. And I can't hide it anymore. No, I can't hide my feelings anymore. The world card. So the other person is just like, I'm done thinking and I'm, and I'm a yes. This is the, the world card. It's a yes. So it's a yes. Whatever this person is making a decision, yes, I'm leaving you. Yes, I'm with you. It's a yes. Whatever yes it is, it's a yes. Okay. Apply it to your situation. Acquire stars, Leo Scorpio over here. Why am I seeing underwear over here? Hmm? It's a guy underwear. <laughs> well, at least the ladies felt protected because they got to thank yourself for not peeping. I wasn't peeping. These are here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. With the world card energy over here, um, and all these um, fixed signs around it, um, they feel like, okay, I've made up my mind and I'm going to tell you something. It's fixed. So my, their mind is done thinking and whatever they made a decision, it's, they, there's no turning around. Okay, that's why it's an all fixed sign. Oh, and the other person here is about with the Ace of Swords. It's like, I learned a lesson. Three of sword, three of pentacles. Remember, there are two teachers over there, but this one is already practicing the lesson. So I've learned my lesson, and I felt lonely without you with the hermit card. So someone is realizing they don't want to be alone. Okay. Oh, who are you? Because you have strength card over here, so it's a yes to you. Okay, because you have the strength card. This is you. Okay, so someone. Is, this can be you though. Now on the other side. So you're making a decision. 
It's a yes, but it, this is going to be an eighth house also energy. You have six eighth over here. Not sure what that means, okay? But you have here the strength card. So eighth house meaning it's, it's like, okay, I see that we're moving from the seventh to the eighth because this is eighth house, okay? Um, your eighth house will be a Pisces, okay? Because you have um, Leo, Leo Aquarius, Pisces, yeah. So you have Pisces over here. It could be deciding to, con to connect with someone, I mean, with a Pisces sign, and you guys are going to move in together. Um, can be also Leo, okay? Um, with the strength card over here, I feel here the decision that you're going to be making is from the bottom of your heart, okay? And it's about, I understand that we have a lot of differences because the world card understands the whole uh, major arcana, a lot of challenges, but now I'm stepping up, I'm being bold, okay? And I, you, there's someone wants something here. Not sure what that is, okay? But the other person is just agreeing also because three of pentacles is just like, all right, let's work it out, okay? It could be connecting with a Virgo also. Let me see here, what else? So a communication that is a yes, a communication that is truthful, about how things can work out all right so that's what i can see here for the leos let's see what more this reading entails the link down there in the description box should you want should you want want to watch the extended reading um, um this is going to be it for december 2022 23 leo stay tuned for more at love Nick. i'll see you guys again Bye. So, um, october 11 2000 Jupiter. We've heard of Jupiter. Who, who hasn't heard of Jupiter? So Jupiter is the Karaka of our gurus, our your husband. Okay. I recently made a video about um, Venus.